Again, if we contrast Detroit and Silicon Valley and take a town like San Jose, they are about 3,300 kilometers apart. And if you look at the changing fortune, in 1960, Detroit's household, median household income was about 44,000. By 2012, it was 26,000. It had actually declined almost by half. San Jose started with 7,000, way below Detroit. By 2012, it's 80,000. And the population has swelled to close to a million and it's ranked number 10th uh, in the US. Now you may ask, well, why, why does this matter? What, what is the relevance of all these American developments to Singapore? It matters because what drives the changing fortunes of these towns and these cities in America are also the very forces that are driving changes around the world. Okay? And within the same country, exactly the same way of doing things, same business rules and so on, maybe some differences by state, you see over a period of time how the fortunes change so dramatically. So if I were to remind you what happens, you take 3,300 kilometers and draw a circle around Singapore. These are all the cities around Singapore which are within 3,300 kilometers. So you have uh, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai in India, Calcutta in Bangladesh, Yangon in Myanmar, Bangkok, of course all the ASEAN countries, right? Ho Chi Minh City, Laos, and so on, Hanoi, uh, KL, Jakarta. It also covers parts of Australia, and of course the whole of Philippines, Hong Kong, Macau, Guangzhou, and all the way up to Chengdu and uh, Chongqing. Now, where would the next Silicon Valley of Asia be? Will it be in Singapore, where you know, it, be, it remains as a vibrant hub of innovation and of job creation, and where we enjoy a high quality of life? Or will Singapore go the way of Detroit? And if you think about the developments in our neighboring uh, cities, every one of this city has ambition to be the next uh, Silicon Valley. A city-state like Singapore faces very unique challenges because we are both a city and a state. If you are a big country like America, you can afford to have one city you know, or many cities fall and many other cities rise. The redistribution of population, redistribution of resources and so on is, is part and parcel of, of life, part and parcel of the rejuvenation of the country. But when you are both a city and a state, we don't have that luxury. Right? If the city fails, the country fails. And if the country fails, I think our future will be very bleak. So jobs will move across cities, jobs will move across nations, and the nature of jobs will change. 